Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, this will be a short tutorial explaining to you uh, the three gathering professions that are available in Twin Saga game that is going to be launched by Area Games and it's set out to be released sometime in August 2016. So let's get started. Uh, what you have here, after level 10, you'll be able to get to your house and I will show you the house where you go to uh, in a while. The, what you need to know is that there are three gathering professions, which is the fishing, which you can see it here. This is where you actually start. This is the area you start in, in the gathering profession at level, I think, 10 or 15 here. Um, so you have fishing and you have like the fish looking thing here is where you go fishing. And you see this one is the next one. If you hover over the fish, you'll see from level 8 to 16 but you should be like fishing level 2 or you know mining this one it needs mining level 1 this one is so this is where you start first after you level those then you move to the other area then level 3 you can move to the other area and etc 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 so what you need to do is um, you just go and you can afk farm so, so what you need to do is first you need to go to your house let's go to our house you press H or you can go hover here on this cottage looking thing and then you click for example let's go to the lobby you click go into the lobby by the way this is the Thai version it's called astral realm so you you are also it's also available to download so these are the main NPCs that you can buy your things from so for the fishing you will need a fishing rod right so you will come to these NPCs and then you'll buy from them. I think this is the main NPC that you can buy from. Let's see if he has things. Okay, so you buy the novice rod from here, which I already have. And this one doesn't seem to have a durability, so it doesn't break. But what you need is bait for the fish. So this is the bait that you buy. I've already bought the... You, you need to buy one salmon, so that will cost you like one gold. And this one is the... Uh, novice collect, uh, collection tools, right? So you can gather fruits, you can get, uh, and you can mine ores, uh, or jewels, or whatever. So this is what happens. Uh, it has like a salvage durability, so after one thousand times, it will break. So it's always preferred that you buy you buy one more, for example, like I just did. And you don't need to buy another rod; it's fine. Um, so these three NPCs are actually uh, allowing you to get. Uh, more recipes like to refine for example this one is the one the merchant that will help you i think it yeah so he will help you get ocean sea fishing rod but you need of course you need items to be able let's let's attempt that let's see how we can craft this thank you for right click it so you need you need to go and farm 10 of these and these are obviously into the fishing profession so you need to fish 10 of those and then with your normal rod apparently you will get this or just the recipe and the 10 of those you click it, it costs one gold, and you'll be able to craft your rod. If you play Dragon Hunter, this game sounds a, a little like it's very similar, but yet very different. Like the way the, the combat and the the crafting system and the fishing system. The crafting video, the crafting will be in a different video. So, um, so I'm just making this to explain to you guys how you can make these. So everything you need is just this. Remember this, and you buy the new. Novice rod from this guy. His name is Belfort. Then you want to see where your baits are. You press C, and this is how much baits I have. I have already consumed uh, 61. So I fished 61 times. So I have 939 after I bought a salvin. Anyway, there are three rooms into this house. So you can either you can actually use this girl to either leave the entire place and get back to where you were, or you can move to a different place, which is the greenhouse and the studio. Um, I will leave leave it for you guys to explore, or I will just explain it in a different video because it's all about crafting and stuff like that. So anyway, let's let's leave. You can just leave like that, or you can just leave from the hut after you, from the hut you press H and then click leave. So let's see how the crafting works. And I'm gonna try and see, hopefully I can get a challenge, so I can tell you how the challenge works. And then here in this area, you're not allowed to use a mount, so they have they give you your own cottage here. That you can move on, which is kind of cute. It's a little bit faster than walking, I believe. Well, it looks like walking is actually faster. Anyway, so here, when you see the fish here, here there's like a little bag. 
under the name so this will show you will show you what are the drops click at it and then you'll see what they give so this is the highest one I, this these are the ones that you win in a challenge and of course the harder like this one is the like the most difficult one I think I got one of those yeah there I got one of those but this one was really difficult to get like it, it lasted for like two minutes challenge or something I don't remember but those you use them to upgrade some things maybe you upgrade a rod or you probably just right click them and get some jewels to upgrade some other things like your gems or items or something like that uh, the blue you can get like a fish fillet like for example like these you, you can use them in crafting recipes and this is the nature essence the one that would help you you need 10 of those green ones so you can actually upgrade your rod right because you see if we right click here you have oceans essence anyway I don't want to talk too much about it let's let's try and fish something Hopefully we can get a challenge so you, can, you guys can see what's going on. And sometimes it fails. Yeah, so if you want to AFK, what you can do is just buy as many baits as you want and just AFK because they will be used eventually. And make sure that you have enough spaces in your inventory as well. So I got a grouper, which is not too bad. So I'm, I'm getting all these Thai announcements. I don't know what it is. Looks like I got a fish, but it doesn't show that I got a fish. Or did it run away? I don't know. But yeah, there is there is a good chance of failing in fishing. But apparently, I think when you get high to a higher level, like places like these will be a lot easier to discover. So you got another grouper, and then I'll do some of the mining, and I'll do some of the fruits. But it's actually quite, I think it's a quite a fun game. I uh, I think it's good to pass time, it's quite fun. So it looks like I got a challenge, did I get a challenge? Yeah, so you press 1, 1, 3. Oh shit, I actually, oh no! Okay, you press 4, 2, 1. Yeah, yeah guys, keep, keep your eyes on the... Keep your eyes on this. Okay, the green one is shows how many chances you have until you fail. I think uh, until you fail. I think I have one time to fail, and then this is how strong it is. The red one is how strong it is. Two, one, one. Then because every time you pass a challenge, I think the the bar would would be removed a little bit. You see? Now I I think like I have five or six more. Three, one, three. But I cannot fail it. So it's actually quite easy. But how did I how did I fail it? I don't understand. Two, two, three. So you from left to right, of course. Two, four, four. So maybe it's like that's like how much time you have. Two, three, two. Four, two, three. We can do it. And these are quite easy compared like of course this is like a first level um, I don't know what the future would hold because I think I'm still a very low level on this See that so we got this I quite honestly don't know what the use is for this but I think it's like to uh, use it in in a dye or something like to change the color of your clothes and stuff that's what someone told me on the server but I don't exactly remember so since we got the challenge here let's get into our cottage and then go and farm some fruits or vegetables let's do that because you can't what you can get you can get wheat you can get mm, I don't know broccoli or some stuff like that I think I have some yeah I have wild wheat and then I have pumpkins and stuff so you see like you see the carrot cauliflower what is it broccoli so you click on it and then it will auto farm so you can actually AFK Hopefully we don't get a very long challenge again. But yet again, you see the crops clump, right? You click on the back to see what are the content that you can get. 
So these are these are the contents. I got good weed punch. If you get like a good weed punch, you can just right click it. That will give you like wild weed or a bunch of them, like a few of them. So I'm just gonna do one more, and then I will go to the mine. And then this is just mainly to give you an idea how the you know the gathering professions work. And hopefully that you find this helpful. Please, guys, if you have games or any other questions regarding this game or other games that you want me to review or you want me to make tutorials for i would be happy to help and um it all depends on my free time um but i will definitely be keeping tap on comments and everything like that so anything that you have questions regarding please ask in the comments and i will i will definitely answer so let's get into our cottage again and then see the mines they're not too far. That's a good thing, that they are not really too far from each other. It's like a special city to farm stuff. What, am I supposed to go down or what? What's going on? Yeah, I'm supposed to go down. This is so reminiscent of... What is the name? A Dragonborn Hunter. Like, or a Go of Soul, I think. It's like just... You are so limited in that movement, which is not really good, but I could just jump down in other games. <clears throat> Either way. Let's get to the mine. That's the most important part right now. That's what we need to do. Come on, you can do it, man. Okay, so you just come to the mine again. Just click it once, it will automatically just start. Yet again, you want to see what the loots are inside. You can see it's like ore, ore, copper plate, and then of course you'll get you know whatever is flawless ore and hidden secret through rough stone. So of course these will be good things for you to use later on. Um, looks like I broke my tool. Did I broke my? Did I break my tool? Oh no, it's, it's full. Okay, my inventory is full. But I hope that you guys got the idea how to do the gathering. And then of course, uh, in the next video you'll be able to... I think I will post the crafting. And uh, it, it, will show, it will give you a rough idea of how things are uh, going to be gone. I'm still actually also discovering what's new in the game because it's very difficult. It's actually in Thai, so I can't read that either. Um, but I'll keep you posted. Please, as I said, let me know in the comment uh, anything you want to know and uh, any games that you want me to review. So I'll appreciate it. Until next time, you guys have a good day.